Hello all, welcome to session 14 of c .net training series. In this session, I'm going to explain about the hierarchy of solutions, projects, namespaces, classes, and class members. So let's get started. As per the hierarchy, first we have to create solution. Under the solution, we can create one or more projects. So under the project, we have to create one or more namespaces. Under the namespaces, Okay, under the namespace, we can create one or more classes. Under the class, we create class members. That is, the important class members are variables and methods, and other class members also exist. Okay, so all these class members we have to create under the class. So, just to conclude, guys, here, just to conclude, solution is nothing but a group of projects, whereas namespace is a group of classes. Okay, so what is a solution? It's a group of projects. What is a namespace? It's a group of group or collection of classes. Okay. Solution will contain projects, projects will contain namespaces, namespaces will contain classes, classes will contain class members. So this is what is a hierarchy, guys. So let me practically show you how to create this kind of hierarchy, okay, in Visual Studio ID. So for that, let me launch the Visual Studio. Let me launch it now from my machine. So I'll just, you see here, it's already listed. I can either search here, Visual Space Studio. Then this is the version I have as per today's date. So the Visual Studio will launch. So after the Visual Studio will launch, okay, you'll get this kind of screen. So I don't want to create a project here, okay? I don't want to go with this option. I'll simply say code with continue without code, okay? Continue without code. Select this option. So you see the Visual Studio has launched, and you see there is nothing here, okay? There is nothing here. So what I will do first is I'll first create file, okay? I'll say file new. Sorry, I'll simply say file new, file new and then say project okay file new project so then i will get a create a new project dialog like this okay so here i have to choose c sharp okay i'm going to write the code in c sharp so in this all instead of all languages i have to select c sharp okay this is the first thing and i can instead of saying all windows you can because my machine is windows i can choose windows or i can keep it aside okay all platform desktop or okay all project types is also fine but here the language should be c sharp okay that's what is the difference you have to make sure that the programming language is selected as C-sharp. Remaining things can be anything. Platforms can be anything. Project types can be anything. Now scroll down, guys. Scroll down until you something known as until you see something known as empty project. Okay, just find out the empty project here. You see there is an empty project here. Empty project from .NET Framework, uh, which allows you to if you create this project right, you can uh, write, you can practice your code in C-sharp. Okay, C-sharp Windows Desktop is options. You see, so select this uh, empty project. Uh, in this create a new project dialog after filtering that with c-sharp option and select next then in the next dialog as you can see it's asking you to configure your new project it's asking for the project name so i'll give the project name as uh let's say project one okay project one or first project is also fine okay let's say first project will be better so first project and here project name is pro uh, first project and it's asking for the solution name. By default, it is taking the solution name as a first project, but I want to give a proper name for that. Clear this out and give a proper solution name. I'll simply say solution one, okay? So here, as you already know, what is solution here? As per the hierarchy, what is the solution? Under the solution, we can create multiple projects. That means solution is a group of projects. So here, whatever the name you're giving is a root project or root solution under which you can create. is only one project you're creating later. Under this solution, you can create more projects also. I'll show you how to create multiple projects under a single solution, okay? So for now, give the project name and solution name here. And this is a place, okay? This is a place in my machine where this particular uh, solution and project are going to be created, okay? So for now, let's go to the location, this particular location, see users, username folder, source, okay? Repos, okay? So I'll do one thing. I'll just uh, click on this and go to the file explorer. And I'll go to this location, guys. So I'll go to the C drive. In the, under the C drive, users folder. Under the users folder, this is the user username folder. Under the username folder, we have to go to, we have to find source. Under the source folder, under the username folder, under the source folder, repos folder. You see at this moment, there is nothing here, right? There is nothing here. So what I'm going to do here is, first I'm going to create a project. The project and solution are not created yet. So there is nothing here at this location. What I will do now is, uh, I selected to choose the uh, .NET Framework 4.8, which is the latest version of this .NET Framework platform. Okay, .NET Framework platform is having the latest version as per today's data as 4.8. Whatever the latest version is there, I'm choosing here. And I'll say create. Okay, I'll select create. So the project will be created. Uh, uh, this project will be created under this solution. Okay, 
So let's wait for the project to be created. You see here, there is nothing displayed here. Okay, there is nothing displayed here. Let's wait for it to load. Now just go back to the folder location, the same C drive users folder, username folder, source repos. You see there is a solution folder. Under the solution folder, the project is there. First project is there, right? So this is what is the hierarchy. Under the solution, the projects will be there. Fine, anyhow, the loading is done here. So I'll simply say view and say solution explorer. Okay, view solution explorer. As you can see here, the solution is created. Under the solution, the project is created. At this moment, under this solution, how many projects are there? Only one project is there. So, but I mentioned, right, under a single solution, solution is nothing but a root uh, root thing. Under, under this root thing, you can create any number of projects. For now, only one project is there with the name first project. But I'm going to create one more project here, okay? How to create that? Right click on the solution. Right click on the solution, that is solution one and say add and say new project. And uh, again, select the C-Shop option here. And again, go and select that empty project option. Just find out the empty. Yeah, this is empty project, empty .NET framework project, which allows you to write the code in C-Shop and all those stuff, click on next. So this time guys, this time give the project name, let's say second project, second project, one more project I'm creating under the solution, you see? Here, the fold, uh, the location this time is not under the repos, it's under the solution. Under the solution, the project is getting created, okay? Because we have select right clicked on the solution and then we are creating the project. So this is coming automatically. You don't have to type any solution name this time. And simply say create. You see this time what happened under the same solution, multiple projects got created. Like this, you can create any number of projects under a single solution. So only one project, uh, here one project, this is second project. Both these projects are under which, which solution? Solution one only, okay? So you can create one more solution if you want, okay? You, when, if you can, if you want to create one more solution, you can create that, okay? So project, so I'll say uh, empty project here. You can create other solution, just say next. And you see this time you will say uh, project, project A I will say. And here I have to give the, sometimes you will get this kind of option guys, create new solution or add to solution. So if you want to add to a new solution, you have to say add to solution and give the solution name here, okay? Existing solution, if you want to add, you can add, or you want to create a new solution, then say create new solution. If you already have a solution, you'll get this option, okay? You can create a new solution here. Give the solution name as solution two. So, and uh, select the latest .NET framework and say create, okay? The current solution will be closed. You see, at a time, you can only have one solution displayed in the solution explorer. You cannot have multiple solutions, it's saying, okay? So I'm, I'm not creating guys, I'm not creating, I'm just showing, okay? If tomorrow, if you create one more solution, what happens, this solution will close. At a time, only one solution you can work in the Visual Studio ID. So here, here at this location under the repos guys, uh, apart from solution one, you will have solution two, okay? So at a time, only one solution can be worked on the Visual Studio. That's what it is saying. But uh, for now, I'm not creating the solution. I'm just showing you how, how to create multiple solutions. At a time, you can create one. Multi, uh, at, at a time you can work on a single solution. Under a single solution, you can have multiple projects like this, first project, second project, and so on. Under the project, you can have namespaces, okay? So for now, what I'm going to do is, under this one of the project, okay? I'll not work on the second project for now. I'll just collapse this project. The first project, I'll create some C-Shop files, okay? To create this namespaces under this project, to create this uh, one or more namespaces under this project, first I want to create C-Shop files, okay? Without C-Shop files, I cannot create namespaces, okay? So how to create the C-Shop files under this uh, uh, project? C-Shop files will have an extension known as .cs, guys. How to create that? Right click on the first project, select add, and they say, and then say new item. There are two ways you can create the C-Shop files here, okay? Under the project, by right clicking and selecting new items. From this add new item dialog, there are two ways in which you can create the C-Shop files. First way is, First way is a code file, okay? Just search for the code file here, find out the code file. Here is a code file, okay? So under the add new item, just select the code file and here give the name. Let's say, I'll give the name as first program. First program.cs file, okay? CS means C file. Click on add. But if you uh, follow this code file approach, okay? The first program.cs file will be created, but here no code will be coming by default, okay? You see, under this first program.cs file, there is no code available, okay? A blank file will come, blank CS file. If you want to create a blank file, you have to create like that, okay? Or if you want to create uh, uh, some auto-generate the things and all, then you have to do it in a different manner. For now, let's go with the blank file that is code file, code file format. Here, as I mentioned, right, under the projects, you have to create what? Under the project, under the C, uh, C sharp files, you have to create the namespaces, okay? Let's create the namespace here, okay? So I'll say namespace, 
I'll simply say namespace. Namespace is a keyword which is used for creating the namespaces. Okay, namespace. This is a predefined keyword in C sharp guys. Okay. After this namespace, you have to give the name of the namespace. Okay. Let's say namespace one. I will give. Okay. Namespace one is the name of the namespace I am giving randomly. Now here I'll say uh, starting of the namespace, ending of the namespace. Like this, I can create a namespace. Okay. Like this, I can. What is a namespace? Namespace is nothing but a group of classes. Can I create more namespaces here? Let's try to create. Okay. Namespace. I'll say namespace two. Namespace two. Again. So I can create any number of namespaces under the project. Uh, under this uh, project, under the C sharp files, we can create any number of namespaces. Any number of here. For example, I created two namespaces. Okay. So I'll I'll go to one of the namespaces here. Okay. I'll go to one of the namespaces. That is namespace one. I'll go. Under the namespace, what you can create? Namespace is nothing but a collection of or group of classes. Okay, you can create one or more classes here. Okay, under this namespace, you can create one or more classes. Okay, so in one of the namespaces, I'll create a class. I'll say public. Uh, sorry, public. I'll say class. Class is a keyword. So don't worry, what is public for now? Or else we simply say class for now. Okay, class name of the class I have to give. So class is a keyword which is used for creating the classes. Okay. In C sharp, if you want to create a class, you have to use a keyword. In order to create a namespace, you have to use a keyword known as predefined keyword in uh, C sharp known as namespace. Similarly, to create a class in C sharp, we have to use a predefined class, a predefined keyword in uh, C sharp known as class keyword. Okay, followed by the class name. Let's say class one. I'm just giving the name of the class as class one. And I'll, this is the start of the class. This is the ending of the class. Okay, this is the starting point of the class. This is the ending of the class. So similarly, I can create a few more classes here. Class, class two. Okay, class, class two. Any number of classes I can create. Okay, so one more class I'll create. Class, class three. So, so here, namespace is nothing but a collection of classes. Okay, collection of classes. Here, for example, I created three classes. So inside the class, what will be there? As you can see in the hierarchy, class will contain class members. What are the class members? The major class members are variables, methods, and other class members also exist. At this moment, I am not going to explain about the other class members. The uh, variables and methods are the ones we can create under the classes. Okay. So, uh, so variables also I have not explained so far. Okay. But I will give you an example of a variable. But I will explain about the variables later. Okay. In this session, I am not going to explain about variables. But for sample, I am going to write something. A is equal to nine. Here, A is a variable case. Okay. At a high level, A is a variable. So, so what is the variable? How to use it? Uh, I will cover later, guys. Okay. For now, this this is one of the class member that is a variable. Is a variable and uh, similarly, I'll create a method. Okay, so I'll create a main method, guys. Okay, so how to create a main method? Uh, the this is the code for main method. So public static void main string of. So uh, for a while, guys, you have to remember this code. Okay, especially this main method code, you have to remember. Okay, remaining all things you don't have to remember. We can auto generate this namespace classes and all those stuff, but uh, this main method you have to remember for a while. Okay, until the C sharp com concepts, okay. Until I explain what is public, what is static, what is main, and all, okay. You have to you have to blindly by heart this code, okay. By heart this code of the main method at least, okay. Remaining all you don't have to by heart, but at least this main method code you have to by heart for a while. When the time comes, I'll explain what is public, what is static, what is um, void, and what is the string of args and all those stuff, okay. Everything will be clear for you when the time comes. Till then, you have to blindly by heart this code, okay, to get started. Fine. Under this main method, guys. Under this main method. Uh, you can write some C sharp statements, okay? Under this main method, you can write some C sharp statements. So I'll write the C sharp statements like I'll say console, console dot I'll say this is a predefined class in C sharp, guys. Okay, console is a predefined class in C sharp. What about this class one? Class one is also a, class one is also a class in uh, class, but it's not a predefined class. Here console is a predefined class in C sharp, but class one is a user defined class. I created this class, but here console is already created by the developers of the C sharp. Okay, whereas class one is created by me. What about this namespace? Who is created? Who has created this namespace? Namespace one. I created it. It is a user defined namespace. Okay. So similarly, this console class, this console class, which is a predefined class in C sharp, also belongs to some predefined, predefined namespace. Okay. It belongs to a predefined namespace known as system. So here I have to say using. You have to write a keyword like using system. Okay, system is a namespace to which this console. You see, the moment I write using system, right? You see, error is gone. Okay, and it's highlighted here. That means this is a console is a another way to uh, get. If you don't want to write using system here, and if you want to auto generate that, 
for the mouse on this console where you are getting the error and show potential fixes will come in that you select this uh, first option using system okay select this automatically it will be added you see you don't have to type it manually system is a predefined namespace under the system predefined names system namespace has a lot of classes guys okay system namespace has a lot of classes and one of the predefined class the system namespace uh, has in c sharp is console is one of the thing okay so you uh, so console is a predefined class in system so console this predefined class has some predefinements like, like here you see class one is having a main method right similarly console will have some methods okay what is that method one of the method right line is one of the method okay it's a predefined method okay these are all not user defined guys the system namespace is predefined okay which belongs to the library of c shop console is a predefined class which belongs to this uh, system namespace uh, and a right line is a predefined method of the console console class okay like that so that is a hierarchy right this is a hierarchy namespaces will contain classes classes will contain members similarly here also predefined thing also same the predefined namespace under the predefined namespace predefined classes will be there under the predefined classes the predefined uh, members class members will be there right line is one of the method guys okay we are calling the method so i'll explain more about methods later okay how why we are calling like this and all let's not get confused okay so so just to get you some understanding i'm explaining but, but whatever you understand you understand guys when the time comes everything will be clear for you so here i'll just give my name and uh, okay one of the class i have written now i'll run the code okay let me run the code how to run the code here so uh, i'll i'll follow the second process where i'll just write console dot uh, read line here okay console dot read line and i'll just click on the start so it's uh, it has built the code and now it has to show the output okay let's see the output wait for the output still loading guys yeah it started the process for running the code sometimes it will take time guys we have to be very patient okay we have to be patient yeah we are getting the output what is the output we got uh, whatever that is there in the right line statement that is our own motor it got printed in the output okay fine it is working fine but ultimately what i wanted to explain as part of this session is uh, the hierarchy guys okay so first we will create a solution under the solution we can create one more one or more projects under uh, under a project you can create one or more namespaces under a namespace you can create namespace is nothing but a collection of classes you can create one or more classes under the namespace under the classes you can create class members like variables and methods okay for example i showed you a variable i'll explain more about variable in detail in the upcoming session and all these keywords like public static void whatever you don't understand in this code uh, okay in this program right don't worry when the time comes everything will be covered for you till then just wait fine so so this is what is the hierarchy guys that we have to follow while working with the projects in c sharp .net, okay so that's all for this session let's meet in the next session thank you bye bye